Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am Gold Raven, and today I'm going to be doing the crafting materials of every single dungeon craft shop in the game. I won't be running through the dungeons because I only have a handful of keys left. So I will still show you what monsters drop which items, but I will not be actually going into the dungeons. So let's start with Robina's shop in Barrow's Point. So in order to get the old quiver, you're going to be needing leather pieces, broken arrow, and torn quiver. The leather pieces are found in the shop. And you're going to need those for the wolf handler's gloves as well. The broken arrow is dropped by the outcast hand which is the bandits you will find in the dungeon, and the trained frog zord. That's who drops the broken arrows. The torn quiver is dropped by Tovis the blade dog. He's the boss. So that is what you're going to need in order to get the old quiver. The wolf fang and the chewed gloves are dropped, while well, the wolf fang is dropped by the rabid wolf and the wolves that you will find in the dungeon. And the chewed glove is dropped by the outcast hand. So that takes care of the first dungeon. And you can find those in the Barrow Pass dungeon. So Trunk Master's Snod's craft shop has three different items. And the first one is the Red Eye Poker. In order to get the Red Eye Leather, you need to kill the Red Winged Eye. In order to get the Frog Zard Claw, you're going to need to kill the Maroon Frog Zords or the Alpha Maroon Frog Zord. And both these items require the same material. In order to get the, oh, and then you, of course, you've already got that there. So in order to get the Draver Hide, you're going to need to kill the Draven Usurper, which is the boss that you will find at the end of the dungeon. And last but not least is the Big Zard Leather, which is dropped by the Alpha Maroon Frog Zard. And that takes care of that shop. So you'll be going into this portal right here to get those items. Next area is Heartwood Forest. So you head up here. And talk to Bayless. So the three items in here all require glowing coals and the glowing coals are found on the crimson hellhounds and these guys look really cool so that's where you find the glowing coals the burnt cloth is found on the crimson circle mage and they also look pretty cool and the evil tear is dropped by the Infernal Sentry, and the Enchanted Hellhound. So that is what you're going to need for the first two items. The Lava Fists, the only extra thing you're going to be needing is the Magma Fragment, which is dropped by the Infernal. So defeat him and you'll get it. And that takes care of that dungeon. Next, you talk to Valerio, and you go to the craft shop. So in order to get the wood smasher, you're going to need the ghost howl and the heavy log. The ghost howl is dropped by the ghost dog, and the heavy log is dropped by the lurking behemoth. 
and you're also going to need the ghost howl for the twilight wolf boots and you are also going to need twilight wolf fur which is dropped by the twilight hound and that takes care of that so the next place now we head to livingstone alcove and the crafting shop in here you talk to heston and you've got three different items you can get. So first is the miner's hat. You're going to need four different items. And in order to get the magical mud, you're going to have to kill the mud lord. And he is in the glowing depth dungeon. So the next item is the perfect blight crystal, which is dropped by the blight crystal bandit. And he is in the silverstone mines. The next is Pebbler Fragment, which are dropped by the Infected Pebbler and the Agitated Pebbler. They're in both different dungeons, so you can choose either one, doesn't matter which. And then you're going to be needing the Zard Hide, which are dropped by the Cave Frog Zards and the Outcast Frog Zards. So the Pickaxe has the pebbler fragment which now you already know what drops those then you're going to need rocks and the rocks are dropped by the roaming rockies in the glowing depths dungeon and you're also going to need the dark spider claw which is dropped by the sub to rock which is located in both of the dungeons so that takes care of the pickaxe. The shovel, you're going to need the Zard Hide, the Hard Shell, and the Metal Bits. The Hard Shell is dropped by the Hollow Extus, which is located in the Glowing Depths dungeon. And then you're going to need the Metal Bits, which is the last piece, and that is dropped by the Unstable Outcast Hand, which is located in the Silverstone Mines. So that takes care of this dungeon. On to the next one. Now in Doomwood Forest you talk to Griava, I think that's how you say her name, and it's for the Screaming Woods dungeon. So she's got three different items in her craft shop and the first is the Cadaver Cutter. So first and foremost you're going to need the Cadaverous Claw which is dropped by the Cadaverous Frogzard. Next, you need the Brutish Spirit, which you can find by killing the Dusk Wolf Brute. And then last but not least, you need the Heart of the Wood, which you get by killing the Blood Root. So the next item is the Spiky Sneevil Basher, which looks exactly like the weapon I'm holding, but I'm not actually holding that weapon. I'm holding another weapon that looks just like it. The cardboard flattener is obtained by killing the bog snevel and the brutish spirit and the heart of the wood I already showed you because it's the same as up there. Next, the driftwood staff. In order to get that, you're going to need these two items again and you're going to need the gnawed wood, which is dropped by the dusk wolf. Apparently, he likes to chew on wood. And that takes care of the Screaming Woods dungeon. So the next dungeon is the Caves of Unrest. And there's three different items that you can obtain here. So the first is the Zombie Hide Cover. You're going to need the Metal Stitches. which you're going to need for each one of these. So you're going to be needing quite a bit of the metal stitches, which you can obtain by purchasing them in Arctic's shop right there, metal stitches. So buy the amount you need and bam. The next item you're going to need is the dirty bone, which is dropped by the cavern crawlers and the skeletons. Then you're going to be needing the damp hide, which you obtain by killing the damp zombie. 
I bet you didn't see that one coming. And so the optical mantle, you're going to be needing those three items again, plus you're going to be needing a Seer Eye, which you get from the Doom Seer Prime. So kill that, and presto. And the last item is the same thing. You're going to need all four of those items that I just told you where to find. And that takes care of Doomwood Forest. So the next area is the Bone Cliffs, and the first dungeon, talk to Nightlock Cultist, and you're going to be getting the Zealot Cowl or the Zealot Robe, and in order to do so, you're going to be needing the Ancient Spider's Silk. Also, you're going to be needing Spirit Essence. So the Ancient Spider's Silk is obtained by killing the Bone Spider, and the spirit essence is obtained by killing the zombie or the bone spider. So that takes care of the first two. In order to get the Nightlock Scythe Blade, the Nightlock War Staff, and the Nightlock War Axe, they are all the same. You're going to be needing the Empowered Weapon Fragment, which is obtained by completing this quest right here. So you need to complete this quest in order to get the Empowered Weapon Fragment. The next is the Azure Fragment, which is dropped by the Nightlock War Staff, which is found in one of the three dungeons in Bone Cliffs. Then you're going to be needing the Blazing Fragment, which is obtained by killing the Nightlock War Axe, which is also found in one of the three dungeons. Then you're going to be needing the Venom Fragment, and this is obtained by killing the Nightlock Scythe Blade. And again, it's found in one of the three dungeons. You're also going to be needing Spirit Essence, which I already showed you how to get that. So that takes care of the first craft shop. The next one is found right here. So talk to Lydra. And you've got four different items here. So the first one is the Tigmina Cloak. And you've got five different things here. So the cotton thread and the glue, which you're going to find on quite a few of the items, except for that one, is obtained in the shop. The cotton thread and the glue are both obtained right there. So the silver pendant is obtained by completing this quest. The pristine carapace is obtained by killing the Extus Harvester. The chitinous shell is obtained by killing the giant spider, the hulking spider, the Extus Harvester, and the mini spider. And then these last two, I already told you where to get them. So the medicine pouch, you're going to be needing the zombie skin, and you would have already obtained these. So the zombie skin is obtained by obviously killing the zombie. It's not just a zombie, it's an infected zombie. I don't know what he's affected with, he's already dead. And that takes care of the medicine pouch. So the next one is the Waker's Root Staff. The next item you're going to be needing is the Waker's Root, which is obtained by activating this quest here. And then most of the monsters in the dungeon will be dropping the Waker's Root. So you can use the Waker's Root before you turn in the quest. You can use the Waker's Root instead to craft the Waker's Root staff. So the next item is the Exo Blade, which I really like this blade. You're going to be needing the Ecor, which is dropped by the Hulking, Giant, and Mini Spiders. Then you're going to be needing the Insect Head, which is dropped by killing the Harvester. It's not a 100% drop rate, so just be patient with it. Then you're going to need the Zombie Skin, which you already know where that's dropped by. And then you're going to be needing the Acid Worn Blade which is dropped by the Hulking Spider. 
And again, it's not a 100% drop, so you'll have to be patient with that one too. And that takes care of Lydra's crafting shop. So the last dungeon, which is also the most popular dungeon, is the Skull Tower. And there are a lot of items in this shop. And a lot of the items are repeated throughout each one. So the metal stitches and the broken armor pieces are obtained in the shop. The dark glowing skull is dropped by the mini bosses that are in the dungeon, such as the Tower Wraith and General Gaithmore. And the end bosses also drop the dark glowing skull. And the dark smoke, the dark magic, and the dark power are all dropped by the mobs. So that's about it, guys. That covers pretty much all the dungeons that are currently in the game, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.